What is good, YouTube, and welcome back to a brand new video. All I gotta say is message receipt from yesterday. We did a 10-year Warriors rebuild yesterday. I told you guys to drop a like. Let me know you guys wanted to continue to see these, and it was my best video out of the last 10, and you guys really loved the 10-year rebuild. So we are back with another one. Today, we have the Philadelphia 76ers. So similar to the Warriors, of course, we were an aggressive team at the very, very top because we had Stephen Curry. We got to do a similar thing with the 76ers. We have Joel Embiid, and we got to try to win him a championship. And then after that, once he is gone, we'll have a new era in Philadelphia, probably. So let's go ahead, jump in. Let's do 10 years of the Philadelphia 76ers. Before we get into today's video, make sure you guys drop a like on this one and subscribe if you are new to this channel. As always, greatly appreciated. We are on the road to 50,000 subs at the moment. So if you do hit that subscribe button, it helps us get to that goal even quicker. But like I said, if you want to continue to see these 10-year rebuilds, make sure you are dropping a like on this video. It really lets me know to keep doing these, so make sure to drop that like. But regardless, Joel Embiid, of course, hurt at the moment uh this team is going to have a bunch of cash space in the offseason obviously they're gonna have to resign Tyrese Maxey but outside of that they're gonna have a lot of money to work with in the offseason so of course one time I did a Paul George 76 rebuild because there was a rumor about that I don't know how realistic it will be that they could get Paul George but it's a rumor regardless so this time around though I think my plan is going to be to sign some elite role players I think Joel Embiid and Maxey can get it done for us if we can find a way to get like some really good role players around these two I think that's where we should go with this. But, of course, we're going to go ahead. So, with the rest of year one here, we can't do anything at the moment. we got to wait for Joel Embiid to come back. And then uh, we'll see how this team does in year one. See if we can get a championship out of the way. Of course, yesterday, I was only able to get one championship in 10 seasons. So, hopefully today, we can find a way to get more than that. So, let's simulate year number one. Today's video is brought to you by DGF's Optimizer and Correlation Tool. If you're playing on DFS apps every day like Price Picks, Underdog, etc., etc., you need a tool like this that gives you good plays right in front of you without you having to do any research whatsoever. For example, basically what it does, it compares multiple discrepancies across multiple sports books. And right now, there is one on the board at the moment as I'm recording this. Royce O'Neal over eight and a half rebounds and assists. As you can see, you got four other books listing this at nine and a half. And FanDuel even has juice on the over of 8.5 at minus 138. So getting at 8.5 while every other book has it at 9.5 is an absolute steal. And the play is right in front of you without you having to go look at every single sports book. It's literally just right in front of you. And this is how I have become a profitable sports better is using this tool right here. Same thing with Stephen Curry. There's a, there's a discrepancy over 35.5. Every book has it at 36.5. This will be bumped. Probably right now, as I'm speaking, this was already bumped. But if you have a tool like this, you could find it as quick as possible, which is why DGF's Optimizer comes in clutch. Their correlation tool, also really amazing. They have like hockey slips on here, uh, CS2 slips, NFL, when the NFL season is here. Very, very huge when the NFL season. Uh, but the way, like I said, the way I use price picks and dabble is DGF's Optimizer. So basically how price picks works is you choose between two to six players, two players being th three times your entry, all the way up to six players being 25 times your entry. You can mix and match any sport you want. They have all kinds of sports to choose from, all kinds of stats to choose from. If you want Dennis Schroeder over six and a half assists, click more on the projection. If you think Jimmy Butler is going under 34 and a half PRA, click less on the projection. It's that simple. Use code CRUSHBULLS. They match your first positive dollar for dollar up to $100 on price picks. DGF link code CRUSHBULLS. Get 25% off your first month. And finally, last but not least, Dabble. Really cool app as well. Use CRUSH10. When you first sign up, you get $10 just for signing up, literally just for signing up. Use card cr crush 10. And the cool thing about this app is you can actually copy people's entries with the click of a button. It's actually a really cool feature. And this app actually offers up to 100x payout uh, up to eight players. So if you want to check out any of these apps, all links are down in the description below. Dabble is the first link, Price Picks link, DGF link, all that's down in the description below. If you are playing, uh, you know, Price Picks or whatever it may be every day, I would definitely consider the optimizer. I would definitely consider an app like Dabble, Price Picks. Definitely use these apps, use the codes. I will see you guys back in the rebuild. So Giannis is winning MVP. Wimby, of course, going to win Rookie of the Year and Defensive Player of the Year, as we know, usually how it goes. Joel Embiid, I uh, don't think qualified for the All-NBA team representatives, unfortunately, but he is back and healthy. We end up as the fourth seed in the East. We get the Knicks in round one. Should be a fun little series to start things off here. So 25 points from Maxi, 34 from Embiid. So like I said, these two guys right here, obviously who we're building around for now. I mean, Embiid is not going to be here forever, but... Maxi probably could keep him throughout the video. We'll see. I mean, 33 years old, he should be still pretty good. So we're probably going to keep him throughout the video. And then Joel Embiid uh, will probably be here for at least five to six seasons, I imagine. Only 30 years old, but we'll kind of just feel it out, see how it goes. The New York Knicks in round one. 
Of course, you have Brunson, uh, DiVincenzo, OG, Randall, Mitchell Robinson, Isaiah Hardenstein. Semi current round against the Knicks, and we are going to beat them in six. So good start. But now we get the team that, of course, we know that. Oh, we got to shrink the bench utilization down. We know the 76ers are all too familiar with the Boston Celtics. Every single time the Sixers and the Celtics have matched up in the playoffs, it has always gone the Celtics way. So can the Sixers finally change that narrative? Let's find out, man. Somebody current round here, and we are going to beat them in seven. So finally, Philadelphia was able to get one on Boston. Of course, this is just 2K, but regardless, we'll take it. Uh, we got Garland, Mitchell, Struess, Mobley, Jared Allen to deal with in the conference finals. Of course, the Cavs, always pretty damn good in the simulation. So uh, this could go either way, but we beat them and we're in the NBA finals. We got a Jokic versus Embiid NBA finals. Let's get a championship out of the way in year number one. How awesome would that be without me doing anything if we get a championship year one? Let's see if we do it. Let's go, baby. Okay, so this is already off to a better start than yesterday. We got a championship in year one. I will take it. Just like that, Joel Embiid finals MVP. We get a championship. Love to see it. All right. Now my work is easy. All we got to do is just continue this. And uh, we're going to have a bunch of cap space. Like I said, the one thing we got to do is, of course, resign Maxi. Uh, but let's check out this offseason. Again, I have no idea, like, why 2K. 2K is just so dumb with their draft picks. So, like, like moving around draft picks in real life. Because no clue why the Sixers have... The Toronto pick and then I was correct someone told me yesterday that the Mavericks or that the Thunder traded the Mavericks to the Houston pick I was like that does not sound right at all and someone I, I probably should just research it myself but I was like whatever and then uh the Houston pick is supposed to go to the Thunder still like that it, I think they traded the worst of like one of the yeah I think the Wizards pick is supposed to go to the Mavericks or something something along the lines of that I have no idea uh or no sorry Wizards via okay see th these graphics are just messed up bro it really is annoying so whatever i'm definitely gonna fix our pick because we are obviously not supposed to have the toronto pick i have no idea where 2k got that and i have no idea why that's the way it is but of course we know 2k doesn't really care about this mode very much so uh, i guess i'm not too surprised they're just throwing things at the wall and uh, hey we did something and it's not even correct but whatever that's enough ranting let's just be positive here so we're gonna sign um some coaches and we'll have our coach stack ability filled out and now we can go to draft night and then nick nurse we could probably keep throughout the video i don't think there's any need pretty sure this is supposed to go to the spurs if i'm not mistaken from the portal trade right um i'll just take like a second from you i i don't i i don't know i don't know why the why 2k has the sixers having the toronto pick it makes no sense whatever we have four second round picks uh the 30th overall pick it would be funny if we drafted Bronny with one of these picks we'd probably get lebron but like i said i want to fill out my roster with some role players i want to be like good for the long term i want to make sure and be set up long term uh, but 38, 11, 22, and 28. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think I can draft with all these uh, all these picks. So I'm going to try to move up maybe to like uh, maybe like another late first. I don't know if I'd be able to do that. But uh, that'd be awesome if I could. So I'm going to start there. Let's see if the Timberwolves would give me 26 for three seconds. Okay, so we get 26. They're going to have 26 and 30. And a tw uh, I don't know if I really need. No one wants 28. That's fine. We could probably just sign that 28th pick to a two-way. All right. So let's see if we can get two late first round picks, get some, uh, maybe some role players for the future. So we have Tristan De Silva, Zach Eady, uh, Woody Poplar, Justin Edwards, Trey Alexander, Juan Nunez. I'm going to go ahead and start with uh, Tristan De Silva here to get him out of Colorado. And then we're going to take, let's see, do I want Dalton Knight or Zach Eady or Deron Holmes? On a, I, I don't know much about these guys left. I know, of course, or Zach Eady wins. So never mind, I can't get him anyway. Um,. I guess I'm going to go ahead and just take Dron Holmes and uh, call it good. So 6'10 power forward. So, and then last but certainly not least, we have a, you know, a late second. I'll just take O'Shea Iguodala. Is that an Andre Iguodala son? I have no clue. But Tristan De Silva, Dron Holmes, and Iguodala. Actually, not too bad. Can I sign him to a two-way? No, it's not going to let me. I'll still sign him though. Player options, nothing going on there. Qualifying offers, of course, Max. He's a free agent. Ricky Council. Uh, if he comes back on a two-way or, you know, restrict small restricted offer, wouldn't hurt my feelings. So, we're going to do that. All right. Now it is time to make sure we get Maxi back. Tobias Harris, Buddy Heal, Nicholas Batum. Like, I think 100%, obviously, we're looking to re-sign Tyrese Maxi. Like, that's that's a no-brainer move. We're doing that for sure. Uh, but outside of that, we got to figure out what else we're doing. Because right now, we don't have anything. We really don't. We have center position is fine with Paul Reed, which is great. We have a couple power forwards that I'm not ready to play at the moment. I think both of them, uh, of course, are going to some time in the g league does the silver go up at three he does not so we have two power forwards one of them will probably keep be here one of them will probably be traded eventually but we have a point guard in maxi as we know so right now we should be really looking for a shooting guard we should be looking for wings that's basically what we should be looking for. so 
let's start there so let's get some wings here um so point guard once we get maxi eventually that'll be fine uh but let's go to shooting guard tab because all right so right now buddy healed he wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to just get buddy healed back i know he would regress though which is my only issue with him uh danthy melton victor Depot. outside of that there's not a lot of great shooting guard options outside of buddy healed and malik monk but buddy heal might be an okay option to bring back again paul george would be fine but i'm gonna try to not go that route today uh hamdi diallo after that definitely some pickings as well power forward position though should give me some options so tobias harris we could also bring back miles bridges is here sneak bay uh obi top and dario sarge patrick Wimps. yeah it is definitely slim pickings for sure i thought it'd be a little bit better of a free agency but boy was i wrong is there a center here that we can slide to the four not really okay so tobias harris we might definitely be looking into a bunch of resigns to be to be completely honest with you sneak bay 32 percent last year obi top in 37 percent i kind of want to start with patrick williams signing him 41 percent from three last year caleb martin wouldn't be too bad either uh chua mad too yeah not a lot of great options let's let's do this let's just get maxi signed out of the way let's get tyrese maxi signing out of the way that way we can just look at what's available after that because this is a, a really sad free agency so i'm gonna give maxi a contract so we're gonna sign him i'm gonna try not to renounce anybody just yet i just want to secure maxi and then i want to see what our options are after that so i'm gonna sign maxi back boom got that done so maxi's back buddy healed has an offer uh he's probably gonna go i think we probably have to resign buddy healed to be honest with you there's not a lot of great options here i know he's gonna regress like crazy though is my only option with him or my only problem with him but i'm gonna still give him an offer bias harris might be our best option as well similar to buddy healed if i can get him for a you know similar rate something like that let's see if he's willing to yeah so we're number one options on both sides there okay so that's great shooting guard buddy healed might be the starter next year we could bring back melton as well probably wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to do that so i'm gonna resign melton we might have used all of our offers today but if i can get like a sneak bay or a patrick williams as well patch or sneak bay is gonna be a little bit cheaper so i think i'm gonna go there i'm gonna go with bay and see if i can get him that'll be a pretty good role player to have off the have off the bench so um i'm gonna get try to give him like 10 um let's go 10 let's go like 10.5 flat rate let's see if he will sign that okay so let's see if we can do that so um sneak bay still mulling offers but we should be able to get these guys back which is nice we got all those guys back sneak bay is going to decline it would put us over the salary limit if i renounce these guys would it let me know i'm still okay how much money do i have left so i can't get a sneak bay they match my offer sheet anyway okay so we're at the point where we can't okay caleb martin next best option i think he'd be great to get so if we can get caleb martin that'd be awesome we can get dinwiddie so this is uh basically we did nothing uh essentially did nothing other than bringing in caleb martin we did nothing so I will be honest with you though the free agency pool was very very sad we just won a championship with this team so it's not the worst thing in the world yeah i didn't really like the free agency low key like i i, I didn't like anybody like i could have went for paul george or whatever but i'm okay with what we just accomplished like i think i know i keep doing it but josh richardson uh on a contract is always very very good to get just because he literally moves up to like a 79 if moving to a small forward so i'm signing josh richardson as well and then we could probably go to day 12 and see what else we can get so day 12 let's see what our other options are so we're gonna have josh richardson we're gonna slide him all the way to small forward we need someone playing that position at the moment anyway so we'll have maxi melton josh richardson caleb martin could probably slide to the three as well would probably go up so we might do that he's gonna go up to 78 so we're gonna slide caleb martin to the three as well and then we can probably sign a point guard or a power forward in the last day of free agency so let's see power forwards uh, Matt too we could sign a Chua we could maybe we could maybe get a Chua no nah, he's not gonna sign that um Matt too would probably sign 27 years old let's go see what point guards are really quickly and then we might just sell on Matt too point guards or anybody that's pretty cheap that would sign John Wall would be interesting then what do you could maybe get Monte Morris if we can get him that would be amazing I don't know if it's gonna yeah he might sign that so Monte Morris that'd be phenomenal and then I'm gonna give Matt too a contract as well so not the greatest offseason pretty sad offseason to be honest with you I mean we brought everybody back essentially but I think you know passing up on this free agency class and waiting until next year probably the better thing to do I think Caleb Martin's you know being here long term Maxi, of course got him re-signed Josh Richardson will be fine uh but yeah I think Buddy Heald once Buddy Heald and Tobias Harris come off the books again I think it would be a lot better to sign someone next year rather than just force a bunch of things in this offseason that wasn't great at all it was not a good free agency which sucks because obviously you don't want to waste any time with Embiid but 
I mean, I can't force it, right? So whatever. We're going to go straight into next season, though. We still have some draft picks in the future as well. Uh, that Clippers pick can still come in handy. We can still make trades. Like, that's still on the table. That If we want to just make a trade at the deadline, we definitely can. That Clippers pick, I imagine, would be pretty valuable eventually. So let's go see if that is the case. So that Clippers pick, that's the Rockets pick. This Clippers pick, it's got one and a half right now. We'll see if it gets better as we go along. But we got Maxi Melton, Richardson, Tobias Serge, Joel Embiid, Paul Reed, Buddy Heald, Caleb Martin, and Monty Morris. Still a really solid rotation, uh, you know, outside of not having that great of an offseason. But I will see you guys maybe at the deadline, but I also just might wait till we get closer to 2028 just because that Clippers pick it could, could be like very valuable at that time and we might be able to get like somebody really really good because that that pick could get all the way up to like four stars it also could get up to like one star because the clippers are good it is a gamble that i might take we'll see what happens so end of the season awards looks something like this we get uh you know obviously nick nurse winning coach of the year which is pretty awesome so another really good season uh joel and beat is your uh, on all nba first team which is awesome and we are the first team in the eastern conference so taking a look at the player stats we're going for championship number two in a row 30 points from Embiid, 27 from Maxi, 13 from Tobias Harris, 12 from Buddy Heald, 11 from Josh Richardson, and 10 from Paul Reed, 9 from Melton, and then 6 from Caleb Martin, and 5 from Monte Morris. So, here we go. Round 1 of the playoffs. We are playing the Orlando Magic. Cole Anthony Suggs, Franz Wagner, Paulo, and Jalen Durant. So, we current round against the Orlando Magic, and they're up 2-0 on us, but we are going to lose in round 1. All right, awesome. After a championship, we come out here and lose in round 1. Very, very disappointing. Uh, but I guess that's bound to happen when it comes to 2K. As the Magic go all the way to the fi conference finals, the Cavaliers are going to win the championship, though. So I guess we're not getting two in a row. Of course, as you saw, we got bounced. So that sucks. But uh, Spurs number one, Brooklyn, Washington, uh, Rockets via Washington. So that Rockets pick is supposed to go to the Wizards, uh, the third one anyway. Um, again, the picks are just so screwed up. It's so annoying, but whatever. Um, and then Philadelphia, pretty sure our picks are going somewhere it does. So the uh, Thunder have our pick this year. So that's to be expected but uh nick nurse uh bobby jackson and then you know what i forgot to do i forgot to send our two first round picks to the g league bro i'm an idiot all right whatever it's fine all right so let's go to wing whisper we, we have plenty of time with them we'll do it this year right all right so we're gonna sign ben simmons just kidding it's bruce simmons and then we can uh get a shot doctor and then i will see you guys with the next step so no draft capital whatsoever what i think i'm gonna do this offseason is test my luck and free agency again so i'm going to decline to buy Harris's contract and buddy hilt's contract that's gonna free up 27 million dollars iguodala i will accept uh qualifying offers nothing and then hopefully we can sign i mean if we could sign a tatum that would be insane but we're like what 27 25 million dollars off from being able to sign jason tatum so uh maxi d'anthony melon Josh Richardson, uh, Caleb Martin, and then uh, we don't have a uh, basically our power forward spot. I mean, we can move things around, but we need a wing. And Tatum would obviously fit that bill, but we're not gonna be able to get him, unfortunately. Mobley, forty-one million. So we only have what twenty-five million dollars in cash space, which is still a good amount. So what can we afford is the question. Twenty-five million dollars. I'm not going for Tobias Harris. I'm gonna try to get somebody different. Chris Middleton is an option. We can go for Miles Bridges. It actually could afford him. Kamenga, right on the verge of being able to afford him as well. Jalen Johnson. And I want someone who's going to progress, though. Uh, Mobley, Barnes, Tobias Harris, Kamenga will be topping. Outside of, yeah, not not that great of options. Uh, Kamenga, of course, might be our best option if Philadelphia weren't gonna, wasn't going to match. But Trey Murphy, if he progressed like crazy, he'd be a steal, but he just doesn't. Uh, and then shooting guards, we got like uh, Suggs, Giddy. Galen Green is kind of interesting just because he might continue to progress and obviously the Rockets might be willing to move on from him. Quentin Grimes, also another really nice two-way guard we could sign. Uh, but I mean, we have Melton at the moment. So I don't know. How do we want to do this? Do I want to sign like a Quentin Grimes in free agency and then just sign like, I don't know, like Trey Murphy? We could probably afford both of those guys. That actually wouldn't be a bad free agency if we stole Trey Murphy from New Orleans. Yeah, I might go with that. Uh, we might do that. I think that actually might be our best way of getting this done. So I'm gonna sign Quinn Grimes. I'm really gonna try. I'm gonna try to anyway. He is a restricted free agent, so this might be a little pricey. But if I can find a way to get both these guys, I think it's gonna be hard to pull off. But I'm gonna see if I can. So Quinn Grimes, this would take us over the salary limit if I renounce everybody. I think I'm gonna have to dump someone. And I actually think I'd be okay with dumping Melton. Uh, I would be fine with just keeping him. But I think if we dumped Melton, uh, maybe for someone cheaper, we would have Quentin Grimes going forward. And then maybe we can get like a 
solid young role player here or maybe we could just trade a you know a first or get a first round pick in return for D'Anthony Melton. so the Knicks or maybe I, I don't know if like Jalen Wilson in a first round picks that saves us seven million dollars and that's want to give me Jalen Wilson for D'Anthony Melton yeah we'll do that we'll do that we'll do that trade hopefully that gives us enough it still does not damn I thought it would all right well okay I guess it does now okay so we should have enough to sign both these guys hopefully and we do okay so that exactly accomplished what i wanted to accomplish so we get two guys that i think are going to fit perfectly here so that's awesome so we got quinn grimes 25 years old uh really perfect starting starting shooting guard caleb martin can slide back to the four now or we're gonna move trey murphy to the four as well but he's gonna go down but trey murphy sniper of course love it for us and then martin you're gonna go back to the power forward for now uh so kill martin will start the power forward Paul Reed back of five still and then trey murphy richardson quentin grimes and then we could use a backup guard, which uh, we have a couple options. Davion Mitchell, though, uh, sounds really good. A young player like Davion Mitchell as our backup point guard for the foreseeable future. The Kings don't match it. Sign me up. That is a perfect. And then I'm going to get Buddy Heald back as well. We're going to get Buddy Heald back. And that will be exactly what we needed. So, again, some good role players. This is the kind of offseason I wanted. Trey Murphy, Quinn Grimes in the same offseason. Pretty solid additions. Um, kind of reminds me when Denver got uh kcp and uh i forgot and someone else that like per fit the, it was kcp and someone else but it fit exactly what they needed and it you know led to a championship so hopefully this is uh kind of similar trey murphy he if he never moves up we can just move him later on so it's not that big of a deal if he progressed more i'd be like all in on trey murphy but he just doesn't progress in 2k which kind of sucks because i kind of like his ceiling in real life i think he could become a really good player one day but which he already is but let's go ahead and uh, load a 2026 draft class. We're getting uh, through this video nice and slowly. We have actually taken our time with this one. Uh, but I'm, I'm okay with it. It's been, uh, it's been good so far. So powering is going to line us eighth overall. Proficiency is a three and a half grit grind. I think this is the first time I'm looking at proficiency because I do not want to be just a three and a half. We're going to move this to pace and space, I guess. And I'll see you guys at the end of the season. So uh, we'll see if we can hopefully um you know go win a championship this year make it two in a row or two two in this video not two in a row so at the end of this season we finish up as the third seed in the east going up against atlanta in round one you have 30 apiece from both Embiid and maxi 11 from josh Richardson, only 11 from trey murphy nine from paul reed eight from buddy healed eight from kill martin and seven from quinn grimes and five from davion mitchell so i think one thing i want to look at is what is trey murphy's shot tendency because it's only a 54, which is very, very low. I want this guy taking away more shots. I mean, if we need someone to be the third guy here, it would be Trey Murphy, in my opinion. Quentin Grimes can also shoot a little bit more. Pretty low shot tendency. I don't know if it's good to be changing that in the playoffs, but whatever. So here we go. Atlanta in round one. We are going to play Trey Young, Murray, Adrian Griffin, Johnson, Okongwu, DeAndre Hunter, Steve Bay, and Bogdan Bogdanovich. So my current round against Atlanta, and we are going to beat them in five. So we're back in the second round at the very least, and now we get to play the Milwaukee Bucks we have Damian Lillard still they have Andrew Jackson Chris Giannis so pretty much the same team they've signed Wiseman as well their bench is a little different but uh you know obviously some of their roster remains the same so my current round against them and we are going to be up three to two it looked bleak there for a second but we are going to a game seven with the Milwaukee Bucks which this could be a very tough game seven they actually want to put Deron Holmes in the rotation as the starting power forward for this series oh gosh I don't know if I want to do that that sounds kind of insane right Oh, gosh, I don't know if that's a great idea. Like, 2K, are we really just going to throw the rookie in? That's a terrible idea, right? I'm not doing that. That just sounds so stupid. It's not even funny. So, I'm going to live or die by Caleb Martin starting because I just don't know if I can throw the rook in there in this Game 7 environment. That just sounds insane. Like, does it not? But maybe it was the right move. I don't know. Uh, looks like we are going to lose this one. So, maybe I should have listened to Ron. <laughs> maybe I should have just played Ron Holmes. We get bounced in round two. Unfortunate. Uh, the Blazers and the Bucks in the finals. Dame versus his team, but the Blazers win the championship. Man, what a story that would be. Blazers versus Damian Lillard in the finals and the Blazers get a ring. That would be crazy. But really unfortunate circumstances. That Clippers pick. Where are the, where are the Clippers ending up in the lottery right now? So, yeah, they're terrible, which is great because that Clippers pick right now could be very valuable, which is exactly what you want. So, I am going to keep Nick Nurse despite the... No unluckiness in the playoffs so far but what is that clippers pick looking at like what are we looking at in this clippers value right now let's see let's take a look so it is going to be clippers pick 2028 it's only two star right now so we're not close to 2028 again i, I kind of want to keep gambling until that pick is like five stars or something because that could get you somebody so damn good but i don't know we have 19 and 24 in this offseason 
Ah, a lot of decisions, decisions. Okay, so I, I mean, we're not, we waste that much time though until Embiid is obviously, you no, know, that old. I don't know if it's the best thing to do. So maybe we should be looking to make a trade right now. We probably should. So I, I think I'm gonna look that. I think I'm gonna look in the direction of making a move right now. So I'm gonna be looking at lawyer marketing from the Utah Jazz. As much as I don't want to give up as much depth as I have, I'm finally moving Buddy Hill, but losing Mitchell and Paul Reed is gonna suck. But if we can get Lori marketing, I think you gotta do it right. So I'm gonna offer 19, 24 in this draft. Actually, I'm gonna try to keep one of those picks. Let's offer let's offer 19. I think 19's fair. And then we'll offer this uh We'll offer our future 2029 first round pick. I'm gonna try to keep that Clippers pick out of this conversation right now. And uh, I think I think that should be enough. Davion Mitchell, two first round picks for Laurie Marketing. They agree. So we get Laurie Marketing. We got our depth a little bit, but I think getting Marketing is gonna be worth it. I really do. So Laurie Marketing is gonna be that third guy we probably need. We have Trey Murphy with him now as well. So yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about the Laurie Marketing addition. I think we needed to make that move. Losing Paul Reed sucks. Uh, losing Davion Mitchell is terrible, but. Uh, probably the right move going forward so let's go to 24 and see what we can get here and we're gonna have a couple guys out of the g league hopefully ready to play a little bit this year we don't need power forwards dylan andrews dash daniels i'm going to take dash daniels here with this selection out of australia 19 years old 70 overall so we'll probably continue to develop him in the background so tristan silva is up deron holmes is up which is nice qualifying offers iguodala jalen wilson both free agents they come back on their qualifying offer that's fantastic and then we have Jalen Wilson as a free agent that we can sign back. Okay. So we could actually sign a really good role player this offseason, which is nice to know. So I think we obviously got to focus on the center position. If we're going to focus on any position, uh, Paul Reed is actually got cut, I guess, by the jazz. That's kind of weird. I don't, I, I mean, I don't, I guess whatever. I think we should like focus on a guard as well. I mean, we just need depth everywhere, to be honest. Like we're not really set anywhere after that trade we made. Cause I kind of, I, I figured that'd be the case. All right, so we're going to have to sign Nurkic as a backup five. Doesn't sound too bad, though. Not going to lie. Wendell Carter, also not too shabby. Uh, but let's see. Let's keep looking just in case. Shooting guard Isaiah Joe off the bench as a shooter. Sniper, that'd be awesome as well. Um, yeah, give me Isaiah Joe, man. Uh, I'm going to take Isaiah Joe here. I think he'd be phenomenal as a first signing here. So we're going to do that. And that obviously gives our you know pool slim pickings. But I think I'm going to re-sign Kill Martin if I can. we sign Kill Martin. Get that depth going for us. Uh, Dinwoody, Dennis Smith Jr. We might have to wait till day 12 again for some things, but um, this isn't looking too bad so far. I'm going to resign. I'm going to sign Isaac to a deal as well. Minimum contract. Um, so we'll go with that. And then we need a backup center, which right now our options aren't great. So what we're going to do is scroll over to day 12 and see what our backup center it, position options are. Because as we know, uh, we can't really, I guess, is Daron Holmes tall enough to play backup center? He is 6'10". So yeah, he technically we could technically get away with him maybe being our backup five. But if I don't have to rely on that, probably be the best thing to do. So backup centers that we can maybe get. Would Nick Richards be willing to sign a minimum? Probably not. Just Drummond maybe? We there with Drummond? No, not there at all with him either. And then we got like Jackson Hayes. That might be fine. We might just have to go with Drawn Holmes. Not lying. Drawn Holmes might have to be our center. If I move him to center, hopefully he doesn't go down too much. He stays the same. So we're actually going to have Deron Holmes be our backup center. He's going to have to be. Deron Holmes is our backup five. Kale Martin will slide to the backup three again. So we'll do that with him. Kale Martin or Isaac could actually go up. No, he stays the same. So we're going to move Kale Martin to the three. Up to a 79 overall with that. Isaac, Tristan, De Silva fight over that position. And then uh, point guard's probably what we need the most. So let's go look at backup point guards. I'm going to get Trey Young. That'd be awesome. But that's obviously not going to happen. If Monte Morris is willing to come back again on a minimum... I'll do that. So Monte Morris will be our get and Jalen Wilson. Those guys are back. And then progression. If you max, you're going down marketing. Fantastic. Great. Uh, fantastic. Get it was up to a 75. So yeah. Backup center position. Very, very poverty right now. But uh, you know what? It's fine. I think I probably should have passed on Isaiah Joe for like Nurkic or something, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully Deron Holmes can develop throughout the season because we're going to need him to step up big time because uh, we're going to need his services because as we know, Embiid is someone that doesn't stay healthy all the time. Thankfully, in 2K, we have injuries off, I guess. But uh, definitely still like to try to, you know, keep things as realistic as I possibly can. But let's go take a look at the rotation. Let's see what we're looking at. So we are going to have power game number ninth, proficiency, four star still. And then this is what it's looking like. So Maxi, Quinn Grimes, Caleb Martin, Laurie Markkinen, Embiid, Trey Murphy, Isaiah Joe, Monte Morris, and then Tristan De Silva will be that last spot. 
I guess we're not playing a backup center, which sounds kind of bad, but whatever. I'll see you guys at the end of this season. Hopefully we end up still being a good team in the Eastern Conference in the playoffs or in the regular season. So once again, another successful regular season, second seed in the East, but obviously none of that matters. We got to try to get a championship here. So we had Trey Murphy with 15. So boosting up his shot tendency helped out a ton. 20 from Mark and 24 from Maxi and 27 from Joel Embiid. So we are playing the Miami Heat in round one. Rozier, Hero, Butler, Jovic, Bam Adebayo, Hami Hake, so many current round against them, and we are going to sweep them. Great start. Now we get the Cleveland Cavaliers, who of course are always a tough outing, but they don't have Donovan Mitchell anymore, and they're starting Raymond and Robinson at the two and the three, so hopefully that goes in our favor. We're going to beat them in five. We're back in the East Conference Finals this time. We get the Magic, who eliminated us in the first round as they got Scotty Barnes and Gobert off their bench. I just don't get it, man, but whatever. Someone in current round against the Magic, and they sweep us, so... Just like yesterday, I had a problem with the Thunder being so damn good. And today it's the Orlando Magic. Because they got Scotty freaking Barnes somehow. Warriors going to win the championship with Luca freaking... Is that Luca and Steph together right now? Is that what we're talking about? No, Steph's gone. Okay. That would have been wild. But whatever. They got a championship. Maybe I should have done that yesterday. Maybe I should have just moved on from Steph and signed Luca. Whatever. All right. Steph Steph went to doubt. What did they do? Trade with each other? Whatever. All right. Let's go to the lottery. And uh, let's continue this off. I mean, I don't know if there's much I'm going to be able to do. Uh, that Clippers pick, though, I need to figure out if that pick is going to finally be as valuable as I want it to be. I mean, they're very, very bad, which is fantastic. That's what we want. So let's see. Is that pick where I want it to be just yet? It is two stars still. So I think going to this next year, what is their roster looking like? Do they have any optimism of being better? No, they're screwed. Their whole roster is old. So I am so fine with just gambling and continuing to believe that they're going to suck. And that pick is going to be like four and a half or five star at the deadline. And that's when we strike. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So this offseason, not going to be much movement. Uh, we're about to be in the year of 2027. So yeah, next year is 2028, which is when that Clippers pick is. So more than likely, we are going to just keep everybody here right now that we have. Might even get some more salary for some trades. Uh, that Wizards pick as well as a swap. So might have some... That Clippers pick though should be our key and our ticket to getting another superstar here in Philadelphia so let's make sure we bring some salary in now we have plenty of money to trade the deadline and that's when we'll strike so as long as we can execute this plan this is exactly what we wanted to happen so that Clippers pick super valuable right now now if I do this trade I'm giving up a ton of depth just an absolute ton of depth but I think in the long run it would be worth it to get Anthony Edwards I think Embiid eventually is on his way out if I could have Anthony Edwards and Maxi as a duo going forward look at that pick so valuable so does this give me at the Edwards four-star unprotected Clippers pick all these guys they still don't agree to that okay so Edwards may not be possible but there's some there's gonna be some other options as well maybe we have to replace Paul Reed with like let's say it's not Paul Reed let's say it's Trey Murphy instead does that move the needle at all for them no not yet I'll throw this Wizards pick in there again they're still gonna say no so I thought you know um having this uh Clippers pick was gonna be able to give me at the Edwards but no so Fortunately, they say no at the moment, but there's some other options that we're going to try for. So Edwards was my dream scenario, but if we can't get him, we move on to the next thing. Uh, so what is the next thing you ask? Um, I guess I got to look again because Edwards was my, um, you know, go to scenario, but I can't get him. Uh, another one I kind of liked was Zion Williamson, 27 years old. Uh, he would fit next to him beat pretty nicely, actually. And marketing like he'd actually fit like perfectly here. So I think we could get Zion. He's a 94 overall. Uh, Brandon Ingram we could get as well. So I think the next best bet is Zion Williamson. So I think that's where we're going to go with this. So let's see if I can get away with this. Um, maybe I do have to trade Trey Murphy in this trade. Trey Murphy going back to uh, New Orleans would be fun anyway. So we'll do that. Do you have any minimums you can throw at me? You have pretty much no minimums. Uh, let's say, I guess this guy would acquire a little too much money. I'll go Tristan De Silva. Actually, I might have to keep Tristan De Silva. Uh, can I throw you Jalen Wilson and you give me another cheapo contract? Uh, McCoy, no. They don't have any like cheap contracts like uh, Kevin Herter. I mean, okay, if I could throw maybe somebody a little bit more expensive, Tristan De Silva. Okay, still not there. Oh, uh, this trade's illegal now. Still a little. Okay, so all right, I gotta make sure 76 would acquire Iguodala, Isaiah Joe. And then we're going to have to go to, let's say it's Bay Fall, I guess. And then I'm throwing Paul Reed in here. So let's say it's something like that. Okay. Isaiah Joe, Iguodala, Trey Murphy, Paul Reed. I'm definitely getting quite a bit of depth back from them if we do this trade correctly. 
I'll do this Wizards pick and this Clippers pick. All this for Zion. They still don't agree. They still don't agree. So yeah, it's going to be tough, man, to pull this off. That'd be easy to make a trade happen. Not so far. I'm actually going to attempt to do this with Lori Markin in the trade instead of what we were doing earlier. So we're going to go Lori Markin in and that Clippers unprotected pick. They agree. Okay, so we get Anthony Edwards this time. So yeah, we trade Lori Markin in, but I think that was worth it. Unfortunately, we lose Markin in. It sucks. But Anthony Edwards and Maxi as a duo going forward sounds absolutely phenomenal. We pass up on whoever we could have gotten in the 2028 draft. But Maxi, Edwards, Trey Murphy, Tristan De Silva is their starting power forward, which is not like my favorite, but whatever. It's fine. Uh, and then Grimes. Paul Reed, Caleb Martin. So very, very excited about that. Um, maybe we could find a way to get a better power forward here. I think we could actually could do that. So let's try to make another move here. So um, actually, I just traded uh, the piece that I thought I could move. Let's move. Let's say we did Dron Holmes and Dash Daniels in this trade and see if we can get like a power forward offer to us somehow. Nasir Little, Sneak Bay. So we get Sneak Bay. I actually don't hate that um, if we can take Donovan Klingon as well. 83 overall, 15 points per game, shooting 39% from three. I mean, I think we got to do this trade right here. I mean, we give them Deron Holmes, Dash Daniels for Klingon. And I think it would even be worth it to give them this uh, this pick just because... Actually, we'll just keep it to what it was. Uh, or I just... Whatever. I just failed at moving that pick. But we know what? We've mortgaged our future. We're going for it. So, Donovan Klingon, you're going to play the force power forward for us, shooting 39% from three. I think he'd be fine there. So that is our deadline. Uh, that is the most aggressive I've been. Hopefully results to winning a championship. Joel Embiid is in his final, you know, couple seasons here with us. Let's go win it all for him. So this time we are the fifth seed in the Eastern Conference. So we don't get home court advantage in round one, which is a little disappointing based off training for Anthony Edwards. But I still love what we were able to throw together at the deadline. I'm actually just going to run an eight-man rotation in the playoffs. I feel like our depth. Well, Caleb Martin is still solid. We'll run nine. So we'll still run nine. So, okay. We get New York in round one. We were able to beat them the very first season. They still have uh, Brunson. They have Justin Edwards now, Clint Capello. So let's hopefully beat them, especially after trade for Anthony Edwards and Klingon. So we do beat them, which is a good start. Now we get Indiana in round two. They have Halliburton, Nimbard, Matherin, Siakam, Turner, Jairus Walker, Tyus Jones, John Davis, and Aaron Neesmith. So pretty solid team in Indiana. It would be awesome if we can upset this uh, Pacers here. And we are going to do just that. And now we get the team that keeps... Beating us, that being the Orlando Magic, still have Scotty Barnes, still have Paul. I still don't know how they pulled off Dur Duran Barnes and still have Paulo and Franz Wagner, but whatever. Game one, one to zero, good start. Beat them by eight. We had 28 from Anthony Edwards here. Game two, they even it up. Game three, two to one. Game four. Okay, we're going to be in a tough one here with the Orlando Magic, which uh, is disappointing because I want to just, you know, wait, is Anthony Edwards not starting right now? He is. He's at the three, which is fine. If we move into the three, uh, does, did he go up or down? I wasn't paying attention. Whatever. He's playing the three for us right now. Okay. Game five. If we could win this one, that would give us a huge advantage going back to Philadelphia. We just got to beat them in Orlando. It's that simple. Can we do it? Is the question we do beat them by two. Um, I need to double check Did Edwards go. Yeah, I'm, I'm leaving at the two. My bad. So he did go down, but whatever. So game six to get to the finals we're in philadelphia the fans should be absolutely wild can we come out here and now we're gonna get blown out on our home floor which is fantastic love to see it okay so great 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 game there okay game seven in orlando we just won in orlando let's see if we can do it again to get to the finals we're gonna allow the magic to run away with it aren't we just kid yep they are gonna win so the magic so the thunder yesterday the magic today just can't beat these freaking top heavy teams don't know how the Magic are affording Duran, Scotty Barnes, Paulo. Like, it's just so dumb, man. Like, how did and Anthony Black? Uh, I mean, like, Duran, Paulo, in front. Like, how how are they how do they afford all that, bro? I have no idea, man. I truly do not know. Truly do not know. Magic going to win the championship. If I was trying to do that, I don't think I, Paul George Kawhi retired in the same offseason as Jim McCollum retires. Whatever. Ralph Lowry, Clippers, um, actually their pick falls to five. So feeling pretty good about trading that pick away for Anthony Edwards. I will say that, man, what a disappointing couple of uh, seasons we've had so far, man. Just can't get over the hump to beat the magic, bro. It's just like, it's literally like yesterday's video where we could not beat the thunder today. We can't beat the magic. It's just how it's been. Even after getting ultra aggressive at the deadline, we couldn't get it done. So let's go to player options. Cause we obviously know we don't have any picks because we've mortgaged everything. Um, I know Embiid is getting to the point where he's about to be gone. So this could be his last season. Thankfully, we can get Klingon back. 
uh if we weren't able gonna we, if we weren't gonna be able to get him back that would have been probably a disappointing trade we made but thankfully we can bring him back so we're gonna definitely resign him but yeah well uh and isaiah joe is a free agent now as well so let's see what we can do free agency kevin herter what else we got maxi quentin grimes is still here we have trey murphy tristan de silva so i think we sign a small forward and run it back for one last hurrah with joel Embiid. so i think we bring back hill martin and call it good so i think that's what we'll do kale martin has been here for, with us monte morris has kept you know has played with us quite a t uh you know quite often here as well so yeah i think we run it back one more year with this uh rotation and beats on the last of his contract he's 34 years old i could resign him or i could move him uh well we might even might even consider trading him at the deadline if the team isn't very good which i don't know why it wouldn't be but like uh we'll we'll just kind of down to 89 uh yeah so we'll just fill we'll fill it out we'll see what things are you know what things are looking at the deadline if we trade him beat of course i would show you that i'm gonna try to get him one last championship uh he's not gonna like retire after the season i don't think we could keep him but him continuing to regress does worry me a bit uh but we'll just you know kind of see how it goes so four star proficiency still uh edwards maxi murphy Klingon, and bead quinn grimes paul reed tristan de silva and caleb martin monte morris all right See you guys at the end of the season or the deadline if I make a drastic move. Third seed in the Eastern Conference this year. Let's go see if we can get a championship under our belts. Your Orlando Magic or someone we would see in round two if we are to get past round one. And they have the same roster. So we're going to be in a very tough battle if we get to that point. We're playing the Hornets first to have a pretty good rotation themselves. So let's go ahead and see if we can beat the Charlotte Hornets to get into round two. And we are going to do just that. And once again, it is your Orlando Magic that we're playing. Paulo off the bench, Bryson Till, Telly, or however you say his name, something like Kurt Round. Just want to want to break the controller so badly right now, man. But you know, I can't really afford a new one at the moment. So I just I, how I mean, how did they keep Anthony Black? Is my question because he was a free agent and they were able to sign him to a deal. Like how how on earth are they if, like able to not get hard capped with all this money they're spending, bro? There's no way they can resign Scotty Barnes. Like, absolutely no way, right? Surely they can. Right? Like, there's no way. Oh, gosh, man. Uh, Embiid's a free agent, too. I could have extended him, but I decided not to give him three years, $40 million. Blazers get one. I'm just at the frustrated part of this video um, where there's nothing I can do to beat the Orlando Magic at the moment. But they should lose Scotty Barnes. They should, anyway. That might make them a little worse, maybe. Uh, but whatever i mean i don't understand how they aren't hard capped with all the contracts they have but whatever let's go to player options and uh let's just see what we can get going on here Embiid is going to be someone we need to consider resigning or we need to move on from i don't think i can let Embiid walk for nothing though i think that'd be kind of lame to do but yeah he's still here he has no good offer so we should be able to get him back of course Anthony edwards is going to be very very important to get back i'm going to offer that first we are his number one offer still and i'm gonna give him beat a two-year deal i don't want to lock up into him long term but i do want to keep him still so anthony edwards joel Embiid, we're obviously getting back and then uh does barnes leave is the question did barnes go somewhere else that is what i'm wondering unless he's still in free agency no he resigned with the magic how are they affording all of this i don't get it this team is never going to be stopped like why do i keep her what do I need to keep going? Like, do I really need to keep going? I have like, there's no, there might not be any reason to keep simulating to be honest, but whatever. We'll, we'll continue to try and get absolutely smacked, but I'm going to probably sign Miles McBride here. Not going to be a whole lot I can do. So we have a backup point guard now and we have a full rotation still, but not going to be good enough to beat what I'm looking at in uh, Orlando, but whatever. So we'll go from We'll, ju we'll just give it our old college, the old college try. So this time we conquered the first seed in the Eastern Conference while the Magic are the sixth seed. Of course, we could get beat by any team here, but uh, I'm mainly focusing on Orlando Magic, but hopefully get past Atlanta. I think if uh, we don't, well, no matter what happens here, I think this offseason where you are going to trade Joel Embiid, um, he's just continuing to regress. Uh, so a uh, Magic get eliminated. Okay, we are able to maybe make it. We do have the, Bla uh, not the Blazers, the Bucks. Uh, Dame's down to a 79, though. They have Kessler, Patrick Williams. Well, this is our opportunity, man. We got to take full advantage of this. Okay, Pacers, we were able to beat them last year, I think it was. Can we beat them again to get to the finals? 
Of course we can't. We cannot. The opportunity opens up wide open, and it looks like the Pacers are going to eliminate us in five. So, you know, I guess I can't be too surprised or mad. I mean, Embiid is pretty much... Well, I guess we won that game, so we're not done just yet. But Embiid is pretty old at this point. I mean, you know, the older you get in 2K, the worse the roster is. And it looks like that is what's happening to us. So I think we got to trade Embiid. All right, man. We got like a couple seasons left to try to get another championship. Our, I thought our... You know, I was trying to get Embiid one more ring. It's just not going to happen. I'm sorry, Embiid. You got to go. So, uh, I'm going to have to trade you because you're just going to continue to regress. And I'm going to take advantage of the value while I have it. So, we'll see what ends up being here. Timberwolves have our pick, of course. But let's, uh, unfortunately, trade you on Embiid. So, whatever pops up, I'm happy with. So, not that. Bruce Longley, Carlton, Galen Suggs, John Collins, Utah. Okay, that might be something we can consider. McDaniels and Mitch Robinson kind of like that a lot um we might come to that Cole Anthony Johnny Davis Siakam and Miles Turner now if Siakam wasn't 36 years old that would be phenomenal Ron Holland and Christian Brown Detroit goes all in and we get Christian Brown and Ron Holland Ron Holland isn't that good but 15 points per game um okay so it's basically between Robinson McDaniels or Ron Holland and Christian Brown. I definitely think we probably choose this trade. So we're going to do this trade Detroit. So we're going to have Ron Holland. So what we can do with Klingon is move him to center again, where he was naturally playing anyway. We're going to move him to center. So he'll be back at center. Ron Holland will be the four. Will that, and then Paul Reed will have to get a new uh, backup center. Christian Brown, uh, Trey Murphy. I mean, we might even make a, a move with them. I'm not sure. We'll see. Um, Nick Nurse, I guess we could probably just move on from him. Like we haven't had success in quite some time. We could just bring him back as well. I, I don't know if it's necessarily his fault. It's like we've made the playoffs every year, so I'll bring him back. He's still a good coach in 2K, so I'll do that. I'll grab Willie Green, maybe to be my assistant. He, I should have offered more money. I messed up. I don't know, head coach. Is there a real head coach I can get? Miller. Um, no, we're at the point where Willie Green's going to decline that. Matthews might be our best assistant we can get. We'll do that. We'll go straight to player options, and uh, we'll figure out if we need to do anything more so player options nothing qualifying offers jake wilson jake laravia or, or jalen wilson i should say are free agents and we're not gonna have like money to do anything too crazy uh nick richards pokoshevsky i'm gonna get nick richards to be our backup center at this point paul reed's probably gonna regress it's not like richards won't either but maybe i have a better chance that richards not regressing as much all right um is this roster good enough maxi edwards quentin grimes brown murphy ron holland Donovan Kling and Nick Richards. Um, it's an interesting team. If I could trade Grimes and or not, if I could trade Grimes and Mur or Brown and Murphy for something, uh, you know, an upgrade, I might consider it. But if not, we might just run it with what we have. We could still Franz Wagner from the Orlando Magic. We could do that. Um, Benedict Mathurin could still him from the Pacers as well. He'd be pretty phenomenal get. This does sacrifice a little bit of depth, though. Jabbar Smith Jr., ooh, kind of like that as well. 45% shooter. He kind of fit exactly what we need, and we just need... I mean, the depth is going to suck, but I think we're doing that trade. We're going to do that trade with the Rockets. We're going to get Jabbar Smith Jr., and uh, we can play him at the three or the four, whatever we want to do. Ron Holland, do you go up at the three? He stays the same. I'm going to move him to small forward. So Jabbar is going to be our starting power forward. Diamond Kling is our starting five, and we need... We have, like, no depth, which I kind of figured would be the case. Yeah, we're at the point where depth is becoming uh, very, very slim. I mean, I just traded two players for depth, unfortunately. So that's kind of... Or traded depth away, I should say. All right, so go to day 12 and sign who we can. And then probably run like an eight-man rotation, to be honest. Can't really do too much else. Yeah, we're at the point where this is getting really hard. So centers, uh, Paul Reed. I actually should probably just resign him just to maybe trade him if I can. So Wilson's back. I should help out maybe a little bit. Uh, Nick Richards is down. Paul Reed is down. So yeah, Richards is a little bit better. Not much. But yeah, um, we're getting to the slim pickings. I think we got like two to three seasons left. And that'll be it for this one. So we've got one championship. That was in the very first season. Other than that, we've been stumped by the Magic. And then got stumped by, uh, of course, the Pacers last year. We've made some upgrades in a way. I think anyway. I think our lineup's a little bit more well-rounded. I'm just going to run an A-man rotation literally. And then I'm probably going to, I mean, I could do that right now. Let's trade Paul Reed and say Tristan DeSilva for maybe a power forward upgrade. 
or whatever upgrade i guess it doesn't really matter what we get or just depth i mean if we can get like jeremy mccain and coloco achua cameron reddish pj washington sharif cooper cole anthony let's just keep looking just in case anything good we got you on a first round or uh, second round picks that gives us a third uh vince williams not not really like any of those uh let's say it's what if we traded quentin grimes and paul reed let's see what that gets me backup two guard would be ooh patrick williams nice that sounds good uh bryce james michael porter jr trace jackson davis i mean at this point everyone's kind of old though so i'm no don't know if i'm should be expecting anybody like Phenomenally good. McDaniels, Nicola, and Jalen Noel, Andrew Nimbard. I think Usas, but we trade Tristan DeSilva, Okoro, Jalen Williams, Scotty Middleton, Nasir Little, Jet Howard, OG Nanobi, uh, Robert Williams. I think we're just going to keep keep things how they are. Game Patch Williams off the bench is fine, but I think we'll just run it with how it is right now. I'll see you guys at the end of this year. We'll see how this goes. Well, Luca is a Raptor now, which is interesting. But uh, once again, another successful regular season. But of course, it's all about going and winning a championship. So here were your player stats. Hopefully, we have some success in the playoffs. Once again, we've been there and we've done that. But we cannot get to the champ. We can't get to the finals for that matter. But we are going to win in round one. Thought we were about to get bounced in round one low key. Now we get Atlanta in round two. We were able to beat them last year. Let's see if we can do it again this time. And we are going to be up three to two. We beat them in six. We're in the conference finals. We are going to play the Magic again. They have Anthony Black, the Anthony Melton Front, Scotty Barnes, Jalen Duran. Same team that I've been dealing with this whole freaking time. Somebody come around. And did I just see we went up three to zero and almost blew it? I honestly might have ended the video. I literally might have ended it. But you know what? We're in the finals for the first time since the very first season, I believe. And I will absolutely take it. We get the Spurs, who have Cooper Flag and Wimby. They have Zachary Satcher as well. Somebody come around. And we got a championship. Wow. Holy moly, we finally got one. Okay, we got another one. Let's go. I'll take it. I think we got a couple years left. At this point, I'm just going to run it with this core. I'm going to live and die by this core. So uh, I'm just going to I'm gonna keep running it. I'm just going to keep running it the way it is right now. We got a championship with it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, is what my mother always used to tell me. But this season, we actually conquered the first seed in the Eastern Conference. So we're looking to make it two championships in a row. 27, 26, 18, 18, and 15, and 10 from Grimes. So we ran it back. Same rotation. Got the Miami Heat in round one here. Somebody cut around against them, and we are going to beat them in four. Great start. We don't have to deal with the uh, Orlando Magic this time. We do deal with the Hawks. We've beaten them a couple times already. Hopefully, we can continue that trend. And no, we cannot. We get eliminated in round two. All right. All good. All right. So, I think we got one more season. Oklahoma City goes on to win the championship. I think we got to make it a good, impactful last season. So, let's make... Let's make some moves here. So whatever we got to do to make this a final good season, I think we do it. So let's go ahead and uh, fill this out. And I'll see you guys with whatever trade we're about to make. I'm trading Ron Holland in a first round pick for Ian Jackson just to get a little bit of an overall upgrade there. So we'll absolutely take that. That goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven players in a rotation. It's not fantastic. It's not great. Uh, I'm not trading Anthony Edwards. I'm not trading Jabari Smith Jr., I could trade Klingon and Grimes and see what that would get me. Uh, I mean, we can get Jonathan Moreno, Kongwu, Suggs and Strother, Brunson, Griffin, Damian Saar, Derek Lively, Mikel, Amon Thompson. We do love me some Amon Thompson, but uh, yeah, none of these trades really stick out to me. So we're not going to be able to do anything too crazy. I literally think this, yeah, this offseason, this next season is going to be an absolute wash. Like this, we're at the point where i just don't have money and we are you know just top heavy at this point depth is an issue and uh that's where we're at but i will tell you the later you get into um 2k every freaking roster is just juice bro like every single roster is so damn good that like it's really hard to have just depth and then think you can go win a championship it just isn't going to work that way everyone is just juiced up everyone's progressed like crazy i mean just multiple 90 overalls on rosters it's just it's just how it is so yeah depth is uh definitely terrible but uh it is what it is at this point yeah final season here running it um let's go see if we can go win this uh one more championship make it three in 10 years that's not too bad it's not bad at all it's not great but uh we'll take it um maybe one of these days i'll win a championship every year i don't know probably won't but yeah rotation's sad the depth is sad but uh final season here let's get it Final season here, as we have the update required that pops up, 
But uh, here we go. Final playoffs. Let's go see if we can win a championship. Ian Jackson may have been the pickup we needed. He averaged 22 points in the regular season. Boston in round one. Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, Caleb Holt, Harrington. They actually have a squad on them, not going to lie. We might lose to the Celtics in round one. We do beat them in six, though. So if we were able to beat the Celtics, maybe we could beat the Hawks this time around. We are going to lose in seven, man. Damn, okay. All right, GG's. Two championships in 10 seasons. Not great, but, you know, some teams don't even get one championship in 10 seasons. So I guess I'll take it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Orlando, I hate you. In this one, anyway. Thank you guys for watching, as always. I will see y'all in the next one. This is Crushables. I'm saying peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you click here to watch another video that I know you'll love.